Hi, and welcome to the channel. So, I bought another IWC, and I think I like this even more than the chronograph. Here's why. Let's begin. So, it should be obvious that I like IWC, the international watch company. I created a video about the GST and a little bit about the modern history of the company and the GST references. I like IWC a lot, from the logo to the design. Everything about IWC makes sense to me. But there's an issue. I only like IWC watches pre-2010. I know, strange. But modern IWC watches don't appeal to me. Don't get me wrong, I like the watches they have. In particular, the Mercedes AMG Pilots watch and the Portuguese range. But there's an issue I have here. Their watches have become too big and I feel they've lost a sporty edge. I know, ironic, even though they create pilots watches which are a form of sports watch and they partner with uh, Mercedes which is a sporting brand. They even have yachting watches. So yes they have sports models and yes the engineer is back but their modern sports watches just don't appeal to me the way I'd like. Their more vintage or neoclassic watches however are amazing. And put it this way, I would take their first Engineer Jumbo over their modern re-release any day. And if you look at their Neo Classic range or Neo Vintage range, they had some really fun watches in the 80s, like the weird Golf Club or the Yacht Club. And this brings me back to the GST. I enjoyed the chronograph so much that I went hunting again, and this time it's the GST Alarm. So what do I like about the GST Alarm? It's just better. It has the same case design, the same bracelet, the same indices, the same sharp design which looks like modernist architecture. It's these specific elements that makes you want to say it's masculine. And that's design. Design always communicates. And that's what makes this IWC particularly special. There's some very deliberate decisions here in terms of design. It's not simply casing up a movement. In this era, the neo-classic or neo-vintage era, IWC made watches to stir an emotion with their customers. But more on this another day. Why do I believe the GST Alarm is even better than the GST Chronograph? First, legibility. Because the focus is on an alarm, there's no subdials, making the watch appealing and legible. Then there's the movement. The movement inside is quite exotic. We know that JLC has made movements for the Trinity sports models, for Vacheron and AP's Royal Oak. These models are revered with collectors. Well, how about an integrated IWC sports watch with a JLC movement inside and an alarm or Memovox at that? It's a hell of a combination one you won't see today. And being a complex JLC, there's an oddity. The date changer. It's not a quick set date. Well, it sort of is. Let me explain. To change the date, you need to set the time, then you move the minute hand 
back and forth between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock and that actually advances the date. The takeaway here is it's a bit odd and actually it just means you get to play with the movement more, which can be fun sometimes. So the question is, do I use the alarm? Well, short answer is no. It's just one of these watch complications that I'll never use. But because of the alarm function, it just makes the watch more appealing because it's more legible. So how many more IWCs from the Neo Vintage era will I be buying? Um, well, actually, I was close to buying another one a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> it was a 90s model and I nearly pulled the trigger on it. Um, I'll reveal more about that shortly as there's an interesting story about it. Um, but yeah, modern IWC watches just don't have my attention. But Neo Classic IWC always seems to have my attention very, very peaked. 